This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Now as you can tell from the fact that I'm bathed in uh, electric light here, it's last thing on an evening, I've just finished my last lesson of the day. Uh, but I just wanted to get this little uh, intro shot for this video so I can get on with making the rest of the video uh, tomorrow. Just using, just call it time management if you like. Basically I've been pickup shopping, I got myself uh, a pair of these Iron Gear Blues engine pickups uh alnico four pickups very sort of paf sounding apparently um dc resistance the bridge is i think I'm just reading here i need different glasses the bridge is 8.6k and the neck is 7.4 so you know kind of fairly mellow sounding um set of humbuckers or mellow voiced and they're going into this guitar this is my harley benton sc 552 which I put up against um, a Les Paul standard uh, the other week, and it didn't give a, a bad account of itself, this guitar, but there was admittedly some room for improvement, so I thought I'd give it a treat to a new set of pickups, and um, I've heard nothing but good stuff about these iron gear, especially the blues engine, so I thought I'd give them a go. Anyway, in a moment... I'm going to snap my fingers and it'll be tomorrow or it will be for you and the pickups will be in the guitar and you can and you can hear how they sound uh, compared to the original stock Harley Benton pickups in that guitar so see you tomorrow and here we are it's now the next day the pickups are in the guitar and I've recorded some sound examples um just a little bit of housekeeping um basically for each of the two sets of pickups, I put a fresh set of strings on the guitar. It did seem a little bit wasteful uh, to put a set of strings on and then whip them off to put the new pickups in and then another new set of strings. But it's the only real fair way to, um, you know, to judge the sound with a fresh set of strings on, on both uh, sets of pickups. You're going to hear three sets of sounds. Basically, a clean sound on the middle pickup setting. A crunchy classic rock overdrive on the uh, bridge position and something more high gain on the uh, neck position. So, without further ado, here's what the two sets of pickups sound like side by side. <laughs> Thank you. 
So what do you think? Um, is it a big difference? Did you hear any difference at all? I will say this before we go any further, that um, the difference in sound uh, that you can hear actually in the room does is more pronounced than uh, comes across on the recording for some reason. Um, but the, 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 the difference is for my money that or for my opinion that um, the new pickups sound a little bit there's a little bit more clarity uh, I could sum it up like that um, which is bizarrely it's more noticeable on, on both the clean sound and the high again sound on the crunch uh, setting it wasn't really that noticeable or as noticeable in the room um, you know when I was playing it, you, the, the difference that you could tell was that on those sort of crunchy power chords that you were hearing me play you could hear each individual note within the chord a little bit more than you could on the stock Tesla pickups uh, with, with, with the ones that came in this guitar the iron gears have as i say that little bit more definition but it's just not really coming across um as pronounced in the recordings um another kind of thing that i would say is that you know that old adage that basically a, a single cut les paul style guitar uh, often sounds like um, a telecaster that's had an extra weetabix for breakfast um these pickups do tend to deliver i think more of that kind of feel um, so it is a change for the better in my opinion because I'm a bit of a Telecaster aficionado and anything that sort of brings a hint of Telecaster-ishness to um, a guitar is always a good thing um, so it is a change for the better um, is it worth 75 quid though because that's what a set of um, I, those iron gears cost me could you get the same you know difference in sound certainly on the recorded sound by just tweaking the the eq controls on whatever you plugged into well in all honesty yes you probably could so have i wasted 75 quid well mm, that's for you to decide really i'm happy with the sound that i get and to be honest with you the pickups aren't going to cost me anything anyway because given what i do for a living i can uh, write them off as a taxable deduction so you know uh, when i fill in my tax return in uh, in a few weeks time where are we now yeah back into january i usually do it um then i'll just put those pickups down as, a, as an expense and you know so they're not really going to cost me anything um i'll leave it for you to decide whether the difference in sound is worth the 75 quid or not this wasn't a bad sounding guitar in the first place um you know but i do think they've made it a little bit better as i say especially uh listening in the room here while um you know when you're in you're kind of actually listening to it uh rather than listening to a recording of it is what i'm saying so there you go folks that is the uh, sound comparison between uh, the stock tesla pickups that come in this harley benton guitar and the set of iron gear blues engine pickups if you're interested in the pickups i'll put a link to them in the description it's not an affiliate link or anything like that i'm not sponsored this is just me uh, sharing the opinion of uh, something that i've paid for so if you fancy uh, checking them out for yourself as i say i'll link to them in the description and that is pretty much it for today folks hope you've enjoyed the video found it useful and informative informative and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not give me a like while you're at it don't forget the live stream tomorrow friday 5 p.m uk time uh, where we drink beer and talk about music and guitars and all kinds of great stuff what a fantastic way to kick off the weekend i would love to see you there if you can make it and for anybody who's joining us from outside the uk it'll be uh, don't forget that the uk put its clocks back an hour uh, last weekend so you will there'll be a bit of a time difference for when you would normally tune in but that is as i say it for today folks thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now <laughs>